Yeah, hey everyone, Byron with you from the game cabinet. We're playing more Stellaris, continuing here with our Death Cult campaign, and we're starting to really butt up against our southern neighbors. We met some ancient civilization, but so far, so good. I mean, we are gonna go offensive here, but like, there's no rush. Like, we don't have to do it right away. So, I just didn't want to get into an early war that we just get our butt kicked with. So, kind of waiting a little bit here. We might, I mean, uh, I don't know. We might decide to go, like, maybe try triggering a war here with, like, the espionage i don't know i don't know i mean we could try sabotaging a star i don't know i don't know point is we're just gonna keep waiting which by the way is there any way to see your uh render planets oh interesting um disband alerts I'm trying to see if there's any way to actually see when you hit like 40 here. So we're at 39. We're about to try stealing some text. See what happens there. Uh, we have a current couple artifacts going or we have one artifact going right now. Oh, you're going to get to the artifact. Grimmin scene. Geological structures are indeed in flux. Um, so we can have 200 credits. Oh, we can spend 200 credits to stabilize or we can add a modifier. Where is this one? Interesting. So we can get plus four or we can try stabilizing it. <laughs> Hold up. What's more interesting to the death cult is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless chaotic self-transformation. In short, a near instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly more habitable is theoretically possible. So we have 50% chance to make a high habitable planet here. I think we try it. Uh, they're disappointed to report that his is closed. Another on Tutti is likely to arise for a few centuries. Okay. So why don't we still be able to, like, why can't we get the science still from it? Whatever. I think it was worth it. Strange. Four science isn't going to be that big of a deal there. Okay, another anomaly. Uh, new planet here. The Val Nunes just got a new uh, one unlocked here. And what did we want to get next? Food is actually still pretty okay everywhere. Robot assembly plant? I don't hate the idea of. Um, administrative office? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we do have a little bit of crime, but I'm not so worried about that. Not too worried about that. We also got to keep an eye out because remember we are going to have... Okay, so you're completely done. We're going to move you here. We are going to end up with a, uh, a colony ship here in a second. System surveyed. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, that's all his territory. I actually can't get there. Interesting. Is that all? Yeah, that's all his empire. So you're done then. All right, well, in that case, come excavate this site. <laughs> sure, sure. Size 13, how big was this continental world, by the way? Uh, The one we were gonna go settle, 17. Yeah, that's not bad, that's not bad. How big is you? 23, okay. Now remember, planets use a little bit more on the Empire Sprawl, but we are also currently, at some point, gonna get more administrative capacity, so. Not that concerned about a uh, sprawl yet. Are we collecting anything? No. I'm probably just gonna build another star base there. Automated shipyard. Uh, automated shipyard. Okay, can we get a ship out of here? Yeah, so this one means we should be able to get a free ship from it, I think is how this one happens. Uh, let's see, where's this one at? Uh, you're down here, aren't you? Dang it. Uh, cause I just moved the freaking construction ship all the way over here. All right, go back over there. That's fine. Cause this is going to be the first one that we're going to want to do. So it's fine. It's fine. By the way, you're building missile battery. Okay. Edict for the nanites are done. Now I don't have enough nanites to actually do it again. Correct. You're at 25. So we're just going to have to chill now. Rather disappointing, but that's fine. Um, let's see, you're building defense platforms. Okay, so we should be able to finish these now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll have to see how strong that is. Uh, science ship is currently done over here. And there's really nothing else for you to do at this point? Can you assist research? Yes, you can. I'm actually gonna have you come assist research. 
There's some other stuff we could do, but yeah. We should probably have done this a long time ago. Actually had him like assisting research. Probably. And yeah, so they're actually coming here to level up. So we'll see whether or not the space amoeba is there. Remember, they move, so, you know. We'll send our fleet up there to, like, go hang out with them there in a little bit. We need to go kill some of these guys, but, like, it's just going to take a little while anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're not in a rush. It's such a good system, man. Such a freaking good system. Colony ship is done. I wish it would tell you, like, colony ship completed. And maybe it does. I just never hear it. I don't know. All right, colonize. Uh, low habitability. They'll increase the upkeep and resource usage. Yes. Texact alone. What? Riddle of... Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a very interesting name here. Um, and the thing is, you can get more habitability fairly easily in this game. The biggest issue, I think, with habitability is it just lowers their base happiness. That's kind of usually the issue. So... Not really that concerned about that, though, in the scheme of things. Uh, so you're upgrading. And we were waiting on you to finish building before we went to the upgrade. Okay. So we're at 1.3k. We'll have to see what you're at afterwards. Oh, by the way, we should be able to take a tech. Please. Steal technology. And throw on the asset. Accept. So he is now superior. Yeah, yeah, still. Difficulty 8, skill bonus 4. I assume this is still like just a base like it just keeps sticking up man the result of the roll is added to the skill bonus and insights then subtracted by the difficulty oh okay so it rolls a 1 to 10 so if I didn't have any skill bonus here the only way I would get anything on the breakthrough chance would be rolling a 9 or a 10 because it subtracts by eight. But in this case, anything six through 10 should work. Six through 10? Yeah, no, four through 10. Yeah, four through 10. A special project. Interesting, special project complete. Uh, there were teachings from Tesla, the Teller Tales. Her teachings provide us with insight how to better gain political results via applying different states of mind and use large scale questions as focus for reform. Um, okay, so another edict. Let's see what this one is. So we get research, leader pool size plus one, and research speed to society 10%. Now that doesn't make sense because leader pools is no longer a thing. <laughs> um, okay, so apparently they've never changed that since they got rid of leader pools like over a year ago. Yeah, weird. Huh. Unless that means like I can get Especially two leaders on one tech, which somehow I don't think that's uh, actually what it's saying. So after rigorous research, we now understand why the trees sap some of those creatures. The tree is also able to produce highly nutritious substance, which has machine-like ability to repair organic tissue. The tree is the tree of life. If we harvest it, we could use it to expand the lifespan of our people. Interesting, uh, but there's one problem. The tree's healing power is limited in amount. We can only use it to improve a small group of people or increase everyone's situation by a small amount. Leader lifespan plus 15 years. <sighs> I mean, you know what I want to do. I mean, what's the lithoid pop happiness? That's what I'm confused by here. Um, species. I think the lithoid. Actually, I actually have no idea what the lithoid means. Lithoid. These guys? Oh! Oh! But we're Necroid. We're not Lithoid. Da! Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Also, where am I seeing all these people? I don't know. I wonder if they're all in these guys' empire? Actually, that's a good question. 
Can we see what else he has here? No, not really. I mean, the plus 5% happiness is kind of freaking nice, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we want a tabby down. See, his happiness is at 25%, man. Very low faction approval. Oh, he's just in one of the factions we're suppressing. <laughs> 65. So it's like default right now is about 65. I'm giving to my leaders. It really pains me to do that. I'm not going to lie. It really pains me to do that. It really does. But, okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because the longer my people live, the better it is for our entire empire, okay? And, like, if we were Lithoids, getting the extra 5% would be worth it. The fact that it's just a one-time, like, it would only be 5% for us, I just, yeah. Nah. Nah. Okay, so this is a freaking crazy system, dude. I love it. So you're going to there. You're going to that one. Got shrine. Uh, traditions, hey. So, star pays damage increased. Yes. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the upgrades reduced by 33%, which begs the question. Oh, we don't have the upgrade yet. We are going to soon, though. Um, also, how goes my star base here? So it's at 1.3k. I'm kind of confused why we're building. <gasps> I'm stupid. I understand. So we forgot to upload, uh, update our defense platform. Yeah. Yeah. Do we really want the regular small mass lasers? <sighs> this one's been auto upgrading. Eh, I suppose. Okay, whatever. 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 So yeah, it auto upgraded. So I'm not as stupid as I thought I was. So Vega is currently done. Um... We need planetary administration here. You have four jobs available. You are getting a little... I'm going to go grab an industrial district. I think that's fine. So is our system's currently... Yeah. So we're going to send you over here, which unfortunately is probably going to trigger... Well, I didn't say unfortunately, but will probably trigger then the amoeba. If not, we're at least closing in on the amoeba. Scientists leveled up. Level five. Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can we please finish this, man? Okay, there we go. Okay, so with the procession now done, let's go send you over here. And hopefully we're not losing. We're losing a lot in piracy, aren't we? Yeah, I was going to say we're at one right now. Ugh, we're going to have to take care of it. You know what? Let, let's let's suppress the let's suppress the pirates real quick. So that is Nikor, which was... Because they're actually going to spawn here pretty quickly if we're not careful. Yeah. So in that case, change of plans. Come here. And then come over here to Nikor. And let's do some suppression. Cool. Uh, what? Oh, we found the ransom ears. Hello. They're actually not that scary at all. Establishing his well, you know what? Since we're going over here to Nikor, we might as well go blow them up then. Right? Sure. Uh, Sentis leveled up. Cool. Uh, Riddle is being colonized, which is... It's going to be a bad plan. Like, we're going to have some issues here, no doubt. Although, you know, I don't really, like, I'm trying to think. Like, it's going to be a bad time for us, but, like, what's the worst that's going to happen? They'll rebel, maybe? Is that a thing? I don't think I've ever had a planet, like, purely straight rebel. I've had a planet not really produce anything because it's been, like, overwhelmed and, like, pissy. But I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. By the way, how goes our stealing? So we're at a 43% breakthrough chance. Can we see what the roll is? No, not really. Uh, anyways, our optics are dispersed amongst the various scientific outreach schemes being run by the mandate for the benefit of their own citizenry. Our target in this endeavor may well just make themselves known to us. Acknowledged. Okay. That's fine. Ah, okay, so 60% uh, we roll a five or less, we get zero insights. We have a negative 70%. <laughs> so 
So between a six or ten, we get one insight, and then the insight basically then gives us uh, a chance to um, it probably lowers it then to fifty percent, right? Just keep an eye on this here, real quick. Yeah, so we failed the roll. We rolled a six. Ah. So we got one insight. So should this not then be? Oh, I understand. So the breakthrough chance, I think, just means that you finish it. So for that to actually happen, we need a bunch more insights because we have to be able to roll at least a 14. And the best we can roll still is um, 5 plus 10 would be a 15. That doesn't make sense. One to 10. So anyways, we got another insight. So now we have two insights. Whatever, the point is it's ticking down. So eventually we'll get that negative 50% in the positives. Okay, okay. I, I get an idea, my math's a little off, which I didn't sleep last I'm night. Sorry. I had to work like super early this morning, so <laughs> shouldn't be doing math at all. So this is the ancient dud dudes. We understand that your empire is coming into possession of cache of data containing the brain scans of an extinct species taken from the very world they once inhabited. Even though your species is too primitive to utilize this data, we laud your efforts in preserving the last remnants of- Ah! I did that! Yes! As part of your efforts to conserve and catalog endangered species and our endangered species preserve, we wish to take this data and use our cloning technologies to bring a small number of these species back to life. Will you share it with us? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. So, they might actually want some of our species at some point. Keep that in mind. So, I'm glad we did that because that might have just pissed them off. They might have been like, yo, you didn't do this. Now we're mad at you. And have been like, whoops. <laughs> Ooh, code breaking. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I'm clearly going to grab that because that's awesome. I mean, I kind of want some of these other ones, but nah, yeah, I definitely want the code breaking. Uh, borders opened. Hey. Hey. That is actually amazing. Um, sure. Can I spy on them? No, you can't because they're ancient. Just, you know, seeing. Seeing if they would do anything. So they would make some trades, it looks like. Potentially. Now, the downside with this is I moved my dude that can go explore that territory, so that's a little unfortunate. But we're just going to have to wait for it. So, whatever. We can build more scientists, Brian. I mean, it's a very good question. Why don't we just build another freaking science ship? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know because it's work, man. But we really should have more scientist ships because, yeah, we definitely want this going on at all times. Who's assisting research? What's our actual research right now? Uh, there should be a way to see what we're popping out. So I don't remember how to do corporations, man. I don't, yeah, we can't do corporations right now. Where is, there should be a way to see how much science we're making. By the way, decisions, what do we got? Luxury goods, amenities, nah. Population control, nah, martial law, nah. Nah, we're good here. Uh, oh, here it is. 37, 47, 37. Yeah, getting a little bit more than we were before. I don't know how much. I wish you could actually see how much it's adding. I don't think it tells you. No, there might be a way to see like, oh, it's adding 10% or something. I don't know. There might be a way, but it's interesting you can do that from the uh, get-go now. By the way, how goes our piracy suppression? Good. Very good. Very good. So you're just making your way over there. New science ship is done. We're going to go ahead and recruit a new leader. Uh, leader experience gained or archaeology excavation. Excavation. Well, we already have all the uh, archaeology stuff happening. So just give me the experience gain. And you should level here pretty freaking quickly. Well, we're just going to pass through a system. 
Interesting. Vessels have been refitted. Since when can't you survey someone else's borders? That's new. Huh. Mm -hmm. I kind of hate that. But okay. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know why these got built and then immediately need upgrading, but whatever. Uh, how close are we on the Starhold? 22 months. Blah. That's fine, though. Defense platforms, we're done here. We're just going to wait to upgrade them until we're done. Uh, that's all the Starhold stuff, I think, right? I, I actually think they were already upgraded, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't think anything changed, so I think that's just kind of BS, but whatever. That's fine. Um, so, you're still building a bunch of stuff here. We actually have enough influence now to grab a couple systems, which is fine, because we want to get over here. But, it's going to take a minute. Uh, oh yeah! That's how you gain more freaking stuff. You declare them as a rival, man. There we go. Your intel on one of your more rivals is falling. So, I have no idea. So it sounds like your base intel is always going to tick up to 20. Just reading this here, this is very confusing. Okay, and the infiltration level goes all the way to 55. So the infiltration level actually helps get some more intel. Um, but ours is changing because I'm assuming the base pack or the diplomatic pack dropped. Because, I mean, it makes sense that you would be gaining less intel from a rival. Like, you just wouldn't learn as much where someone you have open borders with and stuff like that. Totally forgot we could do that a while ago, though, to get some stuff. But, I mean, if he declared me a rival, I might as well declare him a rival. Okay, science ship is done there. Keep surveying. This is fine. Um, where's our fleet? Our fleet's over here. Um, our star bases are pretty freaking strong. I could, like, maybe I should upgrade this star base as well, just in case he does declare war on me. Yeah, I think so. Although you have the trade one, but we can still put the defensive stuff on you. Yeah. Because we got... Actually, we don't have that many alloys now. Never mind. I still fleet present. All right, well, we found the amoeba. Wait. Oh, that's the life tree. Oh, they're protecting the life tree. Interesting. Are they going to be mad that I killed their stuff? <laughs> we found a target who meets our ideal criteria. Access to fish and we'll continue pursuing this lead. Okay. Sure. So we got another breakthrough. How many stages before we win? I don't know, man. I don't know. You actually got shot. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll go heal you. That's fine. That's fine. So you're almost home. I'm just gonna go send you over here, because I think even just passing through it, it lowers it, so. Uh, we know about the hostile ships. How are we looking? They're still overwhelming in fleet power, which, I mean, I'll admit, our naval capacity is hot trash. Also, how are we 22 of 24? Aren't these two apiece? Yeah, let's do that then. That's going to put us at 24 or 24. The idea is... I think with you sitting right next to you, we should be okay. It's kind of the hope. Also, what is our star base maxed out at? 1.9k, which is not terrible. You know, it's doable. It's doable. Uh, give me a research station here. We're also going to want to go ahead and upgrade you, by the way, so I can do some trade range. So upgrade you. And that's going to be our last one, which is fine. We could upgrade this one, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know what this row is, man. Archaeology site pending. Uh, which one is this? 
Uh, the left one. Okay. So, the Pleasure Palace. Present dark and lifeless interior of the space station almost succeeds in hiding the fact that it must have been designed as some kind of luxurious pleasure palace. There's seemingly endless rows of rusty slot machines. I thought it said slutty. <laughs> I thought it said slutty rot machines or then it was like what hundreds of decrypted bars and restaurants and midst it all thousands of bodies oh god all right by the way we still have a bunch of artifacts right now that we've yet to use or relics we still can't do these I don't think Let's go ahead and um and then I'm also gonna sell one just to gain a little bit of money. Cause we have so many right now. So why not? Let's get us a little bit of uh stuff. Also, hopefully that's going to keep the people away from this. The approval's at four percent. They still have all this uh so it's still like basically impossible to suppress them away. Which is kind of annoying. Although they are giving me a little bit of influence, so I guess I can't complain too much. See, that starport's gonna immediately give us seven energy. Which I'm wondering why we're in the negative. Eh, we are currently colonizing. So yeah, that probably doesn't help. A special project. Uh, so we successfully restored power to the automated shipyard. Um, unfortunately broke down afterwards. Uh, we sent a crew to the new ship. Okay, so we got a new ship. <laughs> His name is New Ship. So anyways, um, if I remember, yeah, it's a frigate, which is a step above what I currently have. Because we have the Corvette and Destroyer, and I think the frigate's the next level one. Although it's not actually that good. It's only at 117. Weird. Uh, we'll send you to our capital for now. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um... I'm gonna send you over here for now. Cause we are still gonna wanna grab all of this here in a little bit. Nikor ended up finishing, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now we are a little short on alloys, man. So let's just hold off. I don't know where all our alloys went, man. Kind of annoying. Wait, I told you to move over here, buddy. Weird. It's like I didn't accidentally click on the science ship, did I? I don't know where our alloys went. Huh. This is fine. I mean, I guess we did build a lot here, upgrading these guys, but still. Uh, okay, so this should be the other archaeology site over here. So, it was once known as Star Petal, and was apparently a celebrated luxury resource. Nope, it's the same one, actually. Yep, same one. Uh, a small fleet of tugs would drag the station to a new exotic location each year, but it appears to have been this last one. Uh, for un, uh, clear reasons, the station was pulled in the gas giant's atmosphere where it suffered critical damage. All right, then. Oh, the difficulty is only easy, that's why. And so with the skill bonus, we're just breaking through super quickly. This one's also fairly easy as well. Uh, so you're done here now. So I can send you over here to get a starbase going. And the upgrade is 238 days away. We were gonna build it here originally because, you know, I want the trade value, but we'll just, it's easy to come by. So I'm not super worried. Also, I really need the seven income right now. All right, so this is the gas giant one, or the, sorry, the any other rock. So there's clear evidence that at some point was inhabited by a sapient species. They found industrial age civilization on the cusp of pre-flight uh, uh, FTL space flight, but they were struck by a planet-wide calamity and totally extinguished. Little more than rubble remains. There's no signs that any protective measures were taken by the affected population. So whatever happened, it just stopped. It was a complete surprise, or they chose not to resist it. Okay, it seems kind of horrifying, but yeah, sure. Let's keep looking into it. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? We're also losing food right now, too. Keep in mind, all we have to do is like switch some of this stuff around. It's not really that big of a deal. So you're down to two jobs. I'll go build an agricultural district here. Um, and then, We only have one district left. There's probably not a place. <sighs> Part of me wants to build another generator district here. <sighs> Shoot. I don't know, man. 
Also, this looks like it's really bad. <laughs> I haven't read it yet, but I'm fairly certain it's not good for us. Yeah, I think we should hold off on this. So, group of auxiliary operatives in the mandate began shying away from their assigned tasks, citing a lack of confidence in their overall purpose. Bymaster would typically handle such matters without bringing it to our attention. But without them knowing any details, these operatives seem unusually well informed about our operation and perhaps the spy network as a whole. Given that these auxiliaries are kept isolated from our more active and better informed agents, they suspect the operatives are being fed information from an outside source. She also concedes that they may simply be highly perceptive individuals given these doubts and the threats posed um to the operation seal technology i love how that's the name of it by each scenario spy master requests to detect or directive how to proceed i wish i knew what those were We're just gonna cut them loose because I don't have any idea what those things do. And money is in a bit of a bad spot, so we're gonna go ahead and sell again, just to make a little bit of money. And here's the other thing, we can sell minerals too, if we need to make some money. Where's our fleet? Oh, there it is. It's like, I thought our fleet was there. Can we finish this soon, please? Remember, we actually spawn in with a new, uh, more pop too as well, which is great. All right, there's our administrative capacity boost. Love it. Uh, I did see Offworld Trading Company produces two trade value in each trade hub. Leader lifespan, though. Let's do it. <laughs> We're going to live forever, man. <laughs> Our leaders are going to die in room and be like, what? <laughs> what is this? This is horrible. Death? What? So I wonder, you know what would be even more hilarious, whatever their lifespan is? Can we actually see by chance species? Um, can we get any idea how long they live? Okay, we're not the only ones with robots. Which, you know, seems like it could turn into an issue eventually. Um, 74 pop. Can't really see anything about them. They also have an ocean preference as well. Which means they have a bunch of ocean worlds. Which means... We're going to want to F them up at some point. Simple as that. All right, ship prepared. Cool. Uh, that's my science ship, which means we can go over here, hopefully, depending on whether or not he moved, which he probably did. But like, what do you want me to do about it? I also wonder if I should go blow up these guys. Probably not. Uh, code breaking. Nice. Also, Bureau of Espionage. Nice. So that makes me really want to upgrade you so I can build the Empire. We can always destroy one of these districts here in the future and replace it over here. But I think I'm going to do it because I want the espionage, man. I want the espionage. Conley development speed. Well, too late on that. Chemical plants. Uh, no. Physics research. Probably. Probably. Mining drone laser. I don't think it's stronger than the one we're currently using. Uh, it's. I don't remember it. But I think at this point, considering we have like the tier three laser, I don't think it's worth it. Cold fusion reactor is also interesting, but yeah, give me the extra physics research then, which we're at 90 right now. We should have very little issue fighting these guys. Just FYI. Okay, yeah, I was, I was gonna check on this. So we've drawn up various plans, which press a clear advantage. Our operative has at last been invited to a high security breach branch facility engaging cutting-edge research uh, assures us that our simulations paint a favorable forecast commence operation dun, dun, dun. okay so our infiltration attempt has proceeded flawlessly so far operatives cover held throughout and although they exercise reasonable security the trust we manufactured was sufficient to grant us a window of opportunity complex series of electronic blinds and bluffs have exposed the research databanks for just long enough to make our move uh, the security will clamp down tightly after we're done here so, we can do backdoor, which gives us 10% research speed. It also gives us off-world trade companies. 
and we can't do anything for six years. Or we do off... I don't see the difference. Yeah, I don't see the difference. Oh, this destroys the academic espionage asset. Oh, so we lose the asset to gain 10% research for two years. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, so 10% extra research is going to be 99 physics, then it's probably worth it. Give us the back door, then. Okay, and we know we have Intel failing again. So their encryption is not trivial to us. Good. I mean, we want another asset, but we got to wait to 30. But this is ticking up. So this is the thing that's confusing to me. So our intel, our in, intel is ticking down, but our infiltration level is ticking up, which I still not 100% on that. But OK, I think this is fine. Oh, we got to wrap this episode up. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.